Today I wanted to talk to you about taking care of wooden cutting boards. This also includes bamboo cutting boards. Now recently I had one, this one right here. It broke on me, okay, it got, well, it got dropped. And uh, it broke, cracked all the way through right here. I re-glued it and I've got some spots where the glue's come through. Uh, that's not a problem, I'm gonna sand this, get it smoothed back out and it's nice and flat. If this is done right, the board will be stronger on the glued joint than the wood around it. And this is repairable the same way regular wood is. The last time I did a video on wooden cutting boards, the jury was out on the bamboo board. Well folks, the jury's in. And the bamboo works identical to wood. You use the same method to protect it by, you know, using mineral oil to rub into it. Do not use vegetable oils or cooking oils for conditioning a wood board they will eventually go rancid and your board will go rancid with it. Always use mineral oil. It does not go bad and it's also, you, you just get it um, in the grocery store well, next to where the medicines are or also at a pharmacy they sell it to. Um, but it's just a simple laxative oil. It works fine. Uh, I'm going to sand these out. I'm going to start with 150 grit sandpaper and then I'll finish with 300 or excuse me 220 grit sandpaper. I rarely ever go higher than that for a cutting board and uh, those two grits generally take care of it. The 150 will take care of most of the knife marks and scratches and then uh, after that once those are out I can smooth it up with the 220 and then give it some oil to make it look beautiful. That's all there is to these. A palm sander, I recommend you get one of these guys. These are indispensable when it comes to doing this. They make the job fast, and folks, this is cheap. These don't cost anything. I've seen them as low as $20. Uh, the one I'm using here is $29. You can get palm sanders all over the place. They're easy to buy the sandpaper for, easy to use. They don't require any special skill, and it's the best way to keep your cutting boards in good shape. Remember, nicks and scratches will harbor bacteria. This takes care of that problem. It also restores a board that's uneven or anything else to brand new. So, I want to get on with sanding. I have just finished with my 220 grit. Now this looks a lot more kind of dull and hazy than it did before. That's normal, all right? Be prepared for that. You haven't ruined your cutting board because what I do to it next is gonna be the magic bullet. And when you see what happens to this next, you're gonna be surprised at just what happens and how beautiful it is because we're gonna be treating it, and I treat this using mineral oil. When you put the mineral oil on there, it just brings out the natural color of the wood. It just pops and glows immediately. All I have to do is gently rub some on with a um, um, paper towel. Let it soak for just a moment, rub off the excess, and the board is treated. It'll wash easily that way. It'll look good and smooth, and it is safe with the scratches removed. This board is ready for use again. Okay, I have right here a bottle of mineral oil. And as I said before, this is just a digestive laxative, all right? It's um, sold, so, so basically it's good for human consumption. And the neat thing is, is this will not go bad. This won't go rancid on you. So what I'm gonna do is just pour out a little and here's where the magic begins. This is just absolutely beautiful when you do this. Let me put this back here. The color of the wood is gonna pop now. It's gonna show off. There we go. And there's still some deep scratches in that. It's not a big deal. 
because this is something that gets so much regular use and I don't use it as just a, a general cutting food board. When I'm cutting things that need care, I use a colored cutting board or one of the smaller ones I have that are easier to clean. This just sort of gets general use and so I don't have raw foods being prepared or processed on it. And all I have to do is just let that sit on there for a bit. There's no rush on this. Give it five or 10 minutes. What doesn't soak in, wipe off. And that cutting board is taken care of right there. Beautiful, simple, easy. The machine that doesn't, doesn't cost you very much. The uh, sander is inexpensive. And that is how to restore a cutting board and to take good care of them so that they will last you for decades. Good care on a board, it'll last a long time. If you don't, it may give you just a few years, if you're lucky. Well, taking off the excess oil, it's been about 10 minutes now. This is ready. This will give many months of regular use, washings and everything else. And you'll be surprised how well it cleans up. Once you do this to it, your cutting boards just really, really do well. So thank you for watching this. If you would, please take a look right down below there at the uh, description box. You're going to see links, links to my website, to also my channel here on uh, YouTube. And that is Texas Cooking Today here on YouTube. And my website is satrotter.com. Please visit. That's where you find my recipes and a lot of other goodies. Thank you, folks. Have a good day.